A single contribution from a Sterling man has now impacted the health and wellness of the 90,000 people living in the Sauk Valley area. I'm Ed Anderson, retired CEO of CGH Medical Center and a CGH Health Foundation trustee. I was a hospital CFO when Emil Ryberg left $400,000 to the hospital. Our Ryberg Auditorium bears his name. Quite literally, Emil was a neighbor of CGH, living a few blocks south of the hospital. He had been born in this small two-story white frame home to Swedish immigrants. He and his wife Ruth lived there too. Emil worked for 52 years at National Manufacturing in the order department. He liked to fish for muskies and play baseball. Acquaintances remember him as a man of few words and certainly not a person of means. He dressed in a suit and tie each day and walked to work, going home each day for lunch. Perhaps close proximity to the hospital caused him to think of CGH as he considered his legacy. As far back as the 1950s, we have no record of him being a patient at the hospital. His generosity was a major factor in creation of the CGH Health Foundation, now in its 28th year. It has allowed us to take our caring tradition outside the hospital walls and into the community we serve. Emil's gift formed the start of a pathway to wellness. Since then, our bequests, memorials, and annual gifts made by our donors have funded countless health initiatives. Keeping people healthy is our goal. We have educated and provided free or low-cost health care services for many individuals who had nowhere else to turn. We've given out nearly $6 million toward community wellness programs, scholarships, and equipment purchases, all with contributions from individuals, businesses, and clubs. All of this began with our generous neighbor, Emil Ryberg.